A band out of Utah, 19 miles per hour, has been on a roll lately, quickly racking up streams, fans, and recently an award for the best Utah local band. Welcome, 19 miles per hour. Hey, welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing? Good. Doing good. good. How are you guys? Good, good, good. So, so uh, we kind of talked a little bit about this before before this, but you guys just won an award, right? Um, it was best band overall, right? At the local music, Utah Music Awards. Yeah. Yeah, we were stoked that, about it. We were up against some solid bands for it. So it's really an honor for us. So how does that work? What what event was that? Explain a little bit about that night and, and what happened. It was, um, so it was put on by Ben Adams. So shout out to him for organizing the whole thing. Um, but it was a, a voting process that took some time over a few weeks to narrow down from a ton of bands and put them into different categories. So there were a lot of different categories with different bands featured. Um, and the night that we actually received the award was just a cool award ceremony, limited attendance because of COVID, obviously, yeah. but um, it was really cool. And we did not see it coming. So we were really excited to, to be nominated and to win that one from the, the vote of everyone. That's fantastic. So was it like a voting a thing for that night, like a crowd vote or, or, or how did the, how did the voting work? It was done beforehand um, online. Mm -hmm. So people were able to vote and then that was just the they announced it. So we, we did our best to spread the word and reach out to our fans too and encourage them to vote. So we, we've just got awesome fans, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. You guys released a new uh, EP in December. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. We released it. It's called Ruined Reputations. Um, it's got three songs on it. Uh, the title track, Ruined Reputations, Our Own World, and uh, another one called Anything. It's a pretty fun little EP. Awesome. Have you guys been playing for that? Like, uh, have we seen you've been playing some live shows? Have you been doing any tours or any any uh, talking of, of touring outside of the area or? or just uh, getting some shows in here? Yeah, our, um, our first show where we played like the full new EP all the way was um, just this past weekend, actually, Valentine's weekend. Oh, so cool. we were had a fun time with that. And we, aside from the new songs, we played a lot of love songs that either we've written or some covers too, and had some fun with that. And we were actually just talking about maybe trying to get up to Idaho sometime, do a show up there. We haven't played much outside of Utah yet. Um, except New Hampshire, three of us are from New Hampshire, so we've done some shows back there. Oh, in the no summer. But yeah, so we're, we'll see where we go. We're trying to spread it out a little bit, little by little. Yeah. Well, that, okay. So three of you are from New Hampshire. How did you guys all meet? Uh, well, two of us are brothers. This yeah. is my brother Michael. I'm Dan. Oh, cool. And so we've grown up together all the time. And then you want to explain who you I, I met Brady, who's our lead guitarist. Uh, through one of my well, one of our mutual friends. Um, uh, we were just like friends in high school, and then he introduced me to Brady, and was like, "This kid plays the guitar pretty well." Yeah. <laughs> That's how he came. To me. The rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then, and then, uh, so sorry, I don't have all your names actually. What? What's? Uh, let's kind of go down the line here so that I know how to call people out. <laughs> Sure. Uh, well, I'm Dan. I, so I sing vocals and play rhythm guitar. Uh, I'm Brady. I do lead guitar. I'm Michael. I play drums and then I sing on some of the songs too. I'm Ben. I play the bass. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. So so you do uh, lead vocals, Brady, right? Is that what? Danny. Sorry, there's a little bit. Danny. Danny. Danny, so you so you do the lead vocals. So how do you guys split up the writing? Do you all write together, or or uh, does one take lead on a song and then kind of bring it to the table? Or I, yeah, you can you explain this one. <laughs> I think we all kind of like write songs on our own time, but then bring them to each other and are like, hey, this is the song I wrote, and then we see what we can come up with together after that point. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. So usually it's not like one person does something, you know, one person just writes lyrics or usually do you do your own parts um, in the songs? 
Um, yeah, it kind of depends. Like, it's like I would say Michael up to this point has definitely written like the bulk of the songs, and then like he like writes with, like with the guitar and stuff. So he's got like the chords and stuff. But like when it comes to guitar parts, like I'll normally try to like add guitar parts on top of those chords and stuff like that. And bass too. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's like we'll have like the skeleton of a song, and then we'll kind of like add our stuff to it. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's nice. That's a that's a good pattern. It's nice when you have people to write with, for sure. Um, and uh, do you guys all live around each other? Like, are you are you down in Provo area? Is that where you were from, or are you from up um, more north? Um, yeah, so I I live in Provo right now, and so does Ben, our bassist. And then these two are in Orem, so we're all pretty close. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. That's good. That's nice. So do you guys record in an in-home studio or do you take it to some studio? Do you have production skills or how does that work? Um, we've been getting more into like recording stuff on our own. Um, so like for the three songs we just released, we recorded pretty much all of that besides the drums on our own. Um, okay. And then we sent it off to the guy that did our last full album to like mix and master it. Um, but yeah, I think like going down the road we want to get more into like recording and doing stuff on our own yeah kind of uh maybe building up kind of that i mean building up a studio is so expensive <laughs> it costs a ton of money to do yourself so yeah that's 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 a good way you know get the stems and and kind of take it in and and whatnot that's no that's awesome so did you guys meet recently or or have you guys kind of been friends for a little while you explained how you met but when when was that yeah, so three of us have been playing together for what almost four years now. Probably. Yeah, we probably know each other for a while. A little less, like three, three years, three somewhere in the three and four year range, I think. And then Michael <laughs> and I, like I said, we we've grown up, so we've played forever. But Ray has been in the crew for that about three or three and a half years. And then Ben just joined like last month, so yeah. Oh, nice. We're stoked to have Ben playing now. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, awesome. So they just put up. Some um, on our own BYU campus, um, around some of the, the areas where you would find a base. Um, yeah. And so I saw that, and, and I played bass for, for a long time. And I uh, played in a band in my elementary school with some of my friends. So it's, it's been a while since I played in a band. So I, I reached out to them and learned, learned their songs to play with them this last concert. We'll keep playing with them for nice. the foreseeable future. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's awesome. So you're so you're fresh in. You're uh, you're just starting out with this whole adventure with them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, cool. Nice to have to to already learn. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you sound great. <laughs> we had a fun. <laughs> no, yeah, no kidding. No, yeah, we saw a little bit of your uh, what you posted. It sounds great, you guys. We uh, we actually really like your stuff. We've been listening to it today. You know, we uh. Been, been we we heard you a little bit ago but it's it sounds really good you guys are are really good do you uh have any plans for future releases coming up or i think yeah i don't yeah. i don't know how specifically but yeah um, so yeah we have is it nine songs yeah we, we, have, we have like nine songs that i recorded drums for over the summer uh and just gotta start recording the other parts yeah. and we definitely got <laughs> others too that are started and just don't have anything recorded yet so we've for sure got enough to keep us yeah, busy i would say yeah definitely like before the summer i don't know we haven't really talked about what our plans are i guess as far as like doing the songs individually or if we're going to do like you know ep or album or whatever the heck we're going to do but like i would i would say definitely by the summertime we should at least have like a single out oh yeah okay for cool a few. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Do you guys, uh, so you said you live on BYU campus then. Are you all enrolled in, in uh, BYU or, or um, is that just kind of where you live? <laughs> yeah, so there's three of us that, um, me, Michael, and Ben, we all go to BYU. And actually Ben plays in the pep band too. So yeah, for, the, for the basketball team, uh, been that for the last couple of years, but uh of course, this year we haven't been able to actually play at any games, right? Yeah. So. yeah. And then oh, Brady awesome. is just living the rocks. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> 
That's awesome. That's awesome. How has the pandemic been for you guys um, as far as playing goes or have you had just a lot more time to record or, or how's that been? Um, it's been good and bad. We, we've had, we've still been able to perform at least around Utah, which has been cool. Um, but shows have been limited attendance. So that, that's been a little less. I have as many people. Able to... Um, but we, we've tried to make the most of it over the summer. We were, the three of us were home in New Hampshire and we did like two or three shows, um, that we did as like benefit live stream concerts. So we did a few live streams and dedicated each one to a different charitable cause. Um, so it was really cool for us to be able to kind of connect that and do some good and share some music with everyone while everyone was locked in their homes. <laughs> so yeah, it was okay. nice to try and make something happen. And we did some recording too. So how was the ways. live streaming? <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. How was live streaming? Uh, yeah, that... we, um, yeah, it was it was pretty good. We did a pretty basic one and just kind of played like a live concert in our front yard and then just had a video set up streaming it. Um, so we didn't do anything super, I guess, professional live stream, but it was really cool still just to be able to be sharing the live concert feed. Yeah, for sure. That is cool. That's, um, you know, I wonder... We, we often talk about if uh, with, you know, the different artists, if uh, they think live streaming will be adapted into, into the future of shows. I mean, it, it very easily could be, you know, but uh, I guess, I guess time will tell. I, you know, several people have played in front of live streaming, but a lot of people still haven't. So that's, that's cool that, uh, that's cool that you have that experience. For sure. So, yeah, well, cool. So, so right now you said that you have a single coming up hopefully by by the summertime it's not like a specific single or anything um when do you guys see yourselves releasing a full length album do you do you want to do that this year or is that kind of like a longer term longer goal i think that's one of the things we were kind of trying to figure out is how we want to go about it because it's tough with streaming services now a lot of people are finding more success just releasing singles spaced out yeah. So I think we're trying to figure out if we want to do drop a full album at once or if we want to just release a lot of singles over the next year. But uh, either way, I'd say we'll probably have an, an album worth of singles by the end of the year anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, that is totally the modern way. I mean, in, in, in a large uh, respect. So that's that's awesome. That's fantastic. Well, so I like to ask all the artists this question because um, you know how, how it is being musicians. There's a lot of challenges that come up from that um what is something especially music related that happened that you hated going through whether it's an individual one of you or as a group um but that you it, it you just thought it was the worst and slowing you down but in hindsight you're really glad that you had that experience or, or if there's several you know several of them mm -hmm. Sorry, don't mean to put you on the spot. They <laughs> probably each have something to share. Practice. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I was going to say going to music school for a semester until you said that, like, afterwards I, like, didn't, like, enjoyed it or, like, looked back <laughs> on it and thought it was really good. Um, but I don't know. I guess yeah. I did a few things while I was in school for, like, a semester. Like, I played um, in the pit band for, like, a musical. So, like, that was... I guess a good experience, like just to get better as a musician, like playing with other professional musicians and like reading sheet music, just like a guitar player's worst nightmare. But <laughs> I, yeah, I guess I got a little bit out of that. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Uh, That's cool. I don't really know exact like um, musical experiences. I guess just. Um, I don't know, there's been like some music courses and stuff that have been uh, like a lot of things that as a drummer, I wouldn't really consider that important for the type of music that we play, especially. Um, but like, it's still taught me like valuable skills um, to incorporate, I guess. Okay, cool. I've always hated auditioning for things. Um, I it's super nervous and and whatever um but it's always been been a good experience to to sit down and to 
I guess, perform in front of someone who's, who's grading you, who's not just listening to enjoy it, but who's really like looking for what you can do and where you mess up and stuff. Um, and I, I played um, for one of the jazz bands here at, at BYU one semester. Um, and so that was a, that was a lot of fun. It was really hard because um, all of the, all of the bass music was just chords. It was just charts. So nothing was written out. You just had the chord progressions. Um, and I'm really bad at, at knowing what's in those. Uh, so that was a, it was a good experience for me to, to work on and to be able to hear, hear the changes better and know what, what kind of fits in those changes. I, I think cool. I would probably say one for me is just COVID to this whole thing. I think, especially when it first like happened last March or whenever that was, is we, we had a couple like pretty solid shows lined up and they got canceled pretty quickly when things started happening. And so it was like pretty easy for us at first to just think like, ah, oh, shoot, like this is going to suck. We'll have to kind of put things on hold for a while. But instead we kind of took it as an opportunity, I guess, to, to see what we could do and found ways to, to make something of it. Like, like we did with the live stream shows. And um, now that we've been able to perform a little bit again, even though they're smaller shows, we're finding ways to connect people and try and post updates a lot and make, make a lot of use of media. Um, so I guess, I think, that's one thing I've learned from this all is how to utilize media a little bit more and connect with people virtually too. So though COVID has been a struggle, it's helped us grow in that manner. Hey, so I've got oh, a few guys based on that. Um, so a lot of other bands, you know, we plan on artists seeing these sessions, these videos. What advice have you learned about, you know, giving yourself out there on media and promoting yourself? Would you give to other bands who are trying to like be in your position or who are in your same position right now like what has worked for you that you think would be good for another band to be able to know mm. Does anyone else have any thoughts um, i mean i don't know i don't think we're like yeah, we don't have like a crazy social media following or anything but one thing i've noticed with other bands is like like bands sometimes we'll have bands that like open for us and they're like bands that i hadn't heard of before and then they'll like play and i'm like oh these guys are like super good like this, this is awesome and then you go look at their instagram and there's like nothing or like you know like i think People just need to post more. Like, there's a lot of people that have really good music and nobody knows about it. Nobody even knows who they are. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I think we've talked a little bit over the past, like, year or two with all this and about how, yeah, quality is important with, like, posting, but also, like, especially when you're starting out, quantity is, like, huge. Like, you just need to, like, keep posting yeah. content and just make people aware that you're you're present. And I think being active with it, too, because it's, it's easy to, to post something go on, get off of your band account or whatever and go on your personal and then like never touch your random one until you're posting another thing. But it's important to like use it like other people's posts, share people's posts, like comment on other posts, be active with your band's medias as well as your own and like use that to connect with other people. Yeah, yeah we agree, yeah. I would also say that like um, when, you, when you start thinking that like, you know everything about like how to promote your music and be the best at your music that you you didn't never know enough yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that often leads to like you know you won't you won't get successful if you already think that you know everything you need to know <laughs> yeah no that's that's great advice all of that is is um fantastic that's I think a lot of that is important to remember um, as you're going forward, you know, especially for new artists as they start, there's a lot of obstacles and it can kind of seem um, kind of daunting, you know, and overwhelming to get involved in your music scene, to start playing live shows and to start recording. Um, so, so a lot of that advice is really good. I, I, all of that is really good. That's, that's fantastic. We'll be sure to, to put that out there. What, so what are some long-term goals for you guys as a band? What, what do you hope to achieve? Super Bowl. Uh, no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I hope sure. you do, man. <laughs> Next year. Oh, Super Bowl 2022. <laughs> um, no, I think we probably need to discuss a little bit more what our goals are as a group. I think we all have goals to, to be able to sustain ourselves off of music anyway, in one way or another, um, as a broad goal. But I think we short term goals, we definitely want to release some solid songs over this year and uh, try and perform in some new areas. I think reach out a little bit 
with that as well. Bring some joy to some people's lives through our music, I would say also. For sure. For sure is a big yeah. goal. <laughs> no, that's a great goal. I mean, that's yeah. kind of what it's all about. <laughs> Yeah. yeah anything else any other uh yeah no that's that's really cool so are you guys all studying um music in some capacity at byu then to to help that or is that kind of a separate thing uh as a minor actually yeah um oh cool but it doesn't doesn't do a whole lot besides off my uh resume for med school <laughs> <laughs> ben's going to med school so <laughs> that's, that's nice cool. so nice <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Uh, I don't think any of us are actually <laughs> studying music as like a major though. Yeah, yeah, I'm studying experience design. So it's like, it's really cool because it connects a lot with like concert experiences and stuff. So that's, I, I love it for music, but it's not like a music major. So I'm, I'm just enjoying learning about how to enhance our music experience through it. Yeah, we've all taken like music courses and uh you know, I think we've all also done some like business courses too, because it's a huge aspect of um, the music industry and being successful in the music industry, uh, totally. and just knowing how to market ourselves and stuff. So those those courses play a huge role also. But none of us are exclusively studying music, right? I mean, I I, I was. Yeah, <laughs> Ray <Brady> was. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, hey, you know, we're excited to see what you guys do next, uh, what you come up with. We're, we're actually going to try to make it out to one of your shows um, here soon. It's it's cool. It'd be nice to see you guys. We we're excited to get back out into the the real world, I guess, you know, also with uh, <laughs> get to live music. So that'll be that'll be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it's it's been great having you guys. Bowie, do you have any other questions that, that you want to ask at this time? Yeah, where can people find you on social media and on all your streaming services? Awesome. Yeah, yeah we're, we're on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, like all those services. Um, Instagram, Facebook, you know, TikTok, all that stuff. If you like, uh, just look up 19 miles per hour. It should come up pretty easily. Um, yeah, just make sure to spell it out. So it's number 19, then miles per hour. And it yeah. should, we should come up like probably first or second. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty rare name so yeah <laughs>